Look, can't complain, man. Everything's great. Yeah. I'm Gucci, I'm straight. Nothing but positive vibes this way. Really just blessed to see another day. God done gave me a whole lot of great. Alrighty, hello, welcome back to my channel. So Pisces. And I am that I am. Okay, if you haven't been here before and you like tarot cards, oracle cards, and studying the law of attraction, go ahead, hit like and subscribe. Um, if you've been here before, welcome. I'm so excited. So today I'm gonna try to get through this as quick as possible because I still need to read for air and fire. I did a uh, water earth of focus uh last night, but I am here to review. Um, I'm doing the spirit of the oracle card. Uh, Spirit of the animal oracle cards versus the spirit animal oracle cards and how all this came into play. Alrighty, so first things first, I ordered, um, the reason I was even apt to purchase spirit animal oracle cards, I ordered some tarot cards. So I started out just with the Kyle Gray Keepers of the Light oracle cards. I loved them. It's really safe. Uh, great messages they inspired me to order more oracle cards um and then tarot cards so i ordered you know the moon oracle cards romance oracle cards and then i ordered some tarot cards and you know they say tarot can be evil or certain people when they started reading tarot demons they started seeing demons and things of that nature and so i was like telling y'all okay i'm gonna start with tarot cards if i see any demons y'all gonna see them too we right here together gangsta I don't play with them, you know, mm -mm. I mean, I know that they're around, but we're not asking them to come and play with us. And, you know, we're not inviting demons to dinner. I don't. I don't know. Sometimes I do. <laughs> anyway, that's a whole different. Ooh, that's a whole different. Okay. So overall, when I got it, it was cute. It was really, really freaking cute. So I got it. My birthstone color. I was like, oh, yes, spirit. This is for me. Opened it up. Great sturdy box. Okay. Great book. You guys know I love the books. So the book and the cards about the same size. So getting into the book. Oh, oh wait. Let me backtrack. So a couple days after I got the, uh, the tarot cards. Okay. This is the most important part. The couple days after I got the tarot cards. Um, I just sat down to do this. This is, I don't, I don't, uh, not a disclaimer, but I don't edit or nothing. I just, up, up, go, up, go. Anyway, so I got the pendulum. It gave me a pendulum. It gave me, um, like a little, like a do-rag almost. And so I seen that there was a snake in my house. I've never, ever had a snake. You know, maybe some roaches, maybe spider, you know, maybe like a lizard. I had a possum one time, but not a damn snake. So I'm like, oh my God, Lord Jesus, plead the blood. I don't order these damn tarot, tarot cards. Maybe I'm not supposed to read tarot cards. Maybe they're evil because, you know, we got the devil card and everything deep. So I'm like, no, I was still trying to stay optimistic instead of being judgmental and saying, are the tarot cards evil? What else could a snake mean? So I Googled it. What does a snake mean? And then the spirit animal subject came up. So there was a test to take to figure out what your spirit animal was. Mine was the raven, which I totally identify with, right? Um, so I wanted to see what the snake was for, like spiders, um, things that scare me. Things when I see them, we initially get fear, like me. Some people don't, but when I see a snake, I'm like, oh, that means the devil's here. When I see a spider, oh, kill it, you know? But there's other things, that other meanings that they could have. So I was inspired to order this deck. So when I, you know, we get the book, it has some awesome spreads. It has the the... Libora prayer, great mystery teaches how to trust my heart, my mind, my intuition, my inner knowing, the senses of my body, the blessings of my spirit. Teach me to trust these things so that I may enter into my sacred space and love beyond my fear and thus walk in the balance with the passing of each glorious sun. So I love, love, love that. Alrighty. So there's a message on the card. And then in here, when you get to the card, there are these power words. And then there's the card itself with the message again in here. And then there's a message that the card brings the spirit animal. And then if the card is in reverse, there is a contrary message. Lots and lots and lots of meat. Um, there's some spreads in the back. If we can get back there and you can see a couple of the spreads in the back. No, I think the spreads are in the front. I have about the author. Yeah, there, there's some spreads in the front. So I love that they had the yin and yang spread, if I can find it. Um north south east and west 
Okay, and then they had the yin and yang, which is like a two-card spread. It doesn't show the two cards, but one representing the masculine and the feminine. We've done that on my channel. I've done one of those readings. Great. Now, as opposed to doing a full um, north, south, east, west uh, animal totem spread, that would be a lot because, again, there's a lot of message on the cards, and then there's a whole message in the book, then contrary, you know. And then also there's another one. They gave me this right here so this is the spirit of the animal nine card power animal spread and you actually sit in the middle that's you and you spread the cards around you okay and um i loved that so a lot of meat very very powerful they very uh native american feel almost you know with that libota prayer with all of that getting the cards out i loved the back of the cards i'm so sci-fi so I loved the artwork. Okay, so they are really shiny. Hopefully the glare doesn't bother you too much. So I'm going to real quickly try to go through because I do want you to see every animal in this deck as opposed to every animal in the other deck. And the reason why I decided to order the other deck, even though this deck is so incredible. Okay. Sea turtle. Protection. Okay. Giraffe. Visionary. And there's a lot more. You know, if you want to freeze and read it, feel free. But if I did every single card, every single meeting, I'd be here for a long time. Humback well singer. So real quick, the the author and uh, well, Jody Bergusma, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, I loved the keywords that she put in with the animals. Okay, they're beautiful. They go, they coincide so greatly. You know. Lynx, the keeper of secrets. I love that there's no border. Butterfly, rebirth. These cards have so much meat. I would use these in the morning for like an altar card. When I'm sitting down and I'm in prayer and I'm getting my cards for the day, um, you know, really med in meditating. And if I want to pull on the animal spirit, getting this, get on all of that meat. And then setting it up on the altar because it is so big. Having that out as well as my other visuals throughout the day to remind me, hey, my moose wisdom is here. Wisdom is here. You know, swan, grace. But as far as my readings here on YouTube, I probably will just stick to the uh, yin and yang, the masculine and feminine, the five card spread, reading it, then getting into the book. That is a long spread. If you guys want it, comment down below if you would like me to do a full, you know, I'll do it for you guys. I'll give you guys what you want. Okay. Personal choice. So this is really cool. This one you can imagine. You close your eyes, you imagine. So if you take the spirit animal test and your spirit animal does not pull up in your reading, you can always imagine your spirit animal. I do, my raven. Or whatever kind of animal you've been seeing lately. Maybe you've been seeing a lot of snakes. Or maybe you've been seeing a lot of ants or any animal. Elk. Black Jaguar, the old soul. Beautiful. Black Bear, the guardian. Lizard, regeneration. Orca Well, adventure. Heron, patience. Hawk, the messenger. Tiger, fire. Fox, clever. I love the symbols in the background, guys. Wow. Elephant, greatness. Eagle, mastery. Polar bear, mystic. Puffin, partnership. B, community. Coyote, revealer of truth. Loon, intuitive. Cougar, assertive. Horse, freedom. Sea otter, happiness. Wolf, pathfinder. Unicorn, infinite possibilities. So I do believe that the spirit sent me this particular deck. Not what I was thinking for, but definitely for the unicorn. I do love that they have um, mythical animals in here because I love unicorns. Okay. Love, love, love them. 
dragonfly magic owl magic okay so i am going to break these two different cards down because this was very enlightening to me about this particular deck so the dragonfly magic is i embrace my transformation i courageously let go of the past the magic of nature is in me i am brilliant i am blessed so that's that magic now we have this magic the owl magic choose to know the truth because you can open your inner vision you can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. Okay. Two different types. This was like a new type of magic, like a new thing manif manifesting. Okay. And this one was like, you're an experienced shaman, bitch. Okay. There's some stuff going around. You need to use your magic. Woo! It was deep. Um, Snow Leopard, self-reliance. Frog, prosperity. So in my Beautiful Creatures deck, uh, the greed card, she was holding onto a frog. In a lot of denominations and religions, the frog represents prosperity. Ladybug, good luck. So if you see a lot of frogs, you prosperity is around you. If you see a lot of ladybugs, good luck. Dog, friend. And I also love that they had, you know, dogs and cats. Raven is the shaman. There's me right there. Dragon, the supernatural. Loving that. I'm going to get this tatted. Look at that. That's a beautiful tattoo right there. Dear love. Fun fact, I've never had a tattoo, but I'm getting one. Dear is love. Cat, independent. Lion, higher calling. White stag, protector. Goose, inner knowing. Pronghorn, action. Squirrel, always prepared. <laughs> hummingbird, miracles. My baby, my little son, he's the little hummingbird. <laughs> my little hummingbird. Grizzly bear, power. Ram, perseverance. And Penguin Authentic. And Peacock Vibrancy. So overall, great, wonderful deck. I really didn't have any complaints except for there wasn't a spider. There wasn't a snake. I still felt like there was things missing. And I hate that because I love the artwork. I love this big deck. How big they are. Um, trying to uh, shuffle them was kind of hard. But I, I dealt with it. I love the freaking deck. But I hated that there wasn't a snake. And that's what made me buy the deck. Uh, very Native American feel. Very powerful. Okay. Not to take any power from the animals and the meanings. Very, very, very powerful deck. But there wasn't a snake and there wasn't a spider. And those are two things that I definitely identify with that scare the hell out of me that I would like to look at from a different point of view. And that was the reason why I was buying it. It's like my pit bull. I was afraid of dogs, pit bulls. And now I have a beautiful blue pit. And I love her. She's my baby. I've had her since she was little bitty. And now I'm not afraid of dogs anymore. So pressing on, I looked for another deck. That was highly rated, and I did popped up with the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. I did see that there was a snake and a spider in there, but I didn't see everything. My worst nightmare is in this deck. So right away, this is a 51-card deck, okay? This is a 68-card deck. So this is the size right there, but then you can see the size here. So even though these are bigger and longer, these definitely are thicker and have more meat. So initially the box is great. I could not figure out how to open it for the life of me. I was like trying to push it and I'm really glad I paid attention to this little thing because there's like a magnet. See, it clicks. So it clicks. So yeah, we'll go through it. So as soon as you open it, very beautiful. Then there's a message. The spirits residing in the natural world have much to share and the secrets of their forgotten language are now available to you. So ladies, if you have long nails like me, I love the fact they have this ribbon and you lift it up and it's underneath the book and the cards. So it lifts it up right out of there for you. I mean, if you lift it all the way up, it's going to bring them all the way out. 
Loved, loved, loved that. And then we are left with the inside of the box. Okay. This would even be like a cool box to put stuff in. If you're, if you don't, if you like keep your cards in bags. I know a lot of people put their cards in bags. And then you could use this box definitely to put stuff in because it clicks like that. Okay. Like totally clicks. So that's a cool sturdy freaking box. Okay. Automatically the book is this thick. I don't know why I put this book up. So I'll show you. So this book is this thick okay this one has um 115 pages this one has 204 okay so not a big difference in the page mark, but definitely a lot a lot a lot a lot of meat okay so when you get into this this one also provides some spreads um and these ones are numbered i do not know these ones were not numbered so they are in alphabetical order which i still find myself shuffling through um these ones are or are numbered i love them when they're they're numbered yeah it has an introduction it has some spreads um how to use the oracle card deck a message from the cards yeah they don't really have a prayer like the Lakota prayer or anything in there like that i guess it was the little that initial message on the front and then they have about the author and everything on the back so love the book pulling the cards out the backing was amazing okay so if i don't know why i put these up we should just drop them and keep rolling this is uncut and edited so automatically we can look at the size of the cards and the backing of the cards so i mean this looks a lot more interesting than this probably just depending on how you perceive things i guess because just depending on what you like Okay, but I love the artwork on here. I do. I love that on the back. So we'll go quickly through this one as well. And this has numbers on them. So that has, you know, the 22, which is right here. Dragonfly Spirit. Truth transcends illusion. Love the vibrancy on these cards. Antelope Spirit. Life is speeding up. Coyote Spirit. Trust in divine detours. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. I'm going to have to lick my fingers. Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Deer spirit, bring a gentle touch. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. Porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. Time for beginner mind. Okay, that's exactly how it's worded. Love it. Owl, you see clearly now. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. Bat spirit, a rebirth assured. The other one, rebirth, was a um, butterfly. I like that they had a rebirth as being the bat. That's completely different. Ant spirit, time to collaborate. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. White raven, trust in the magic. I love this because I am the animal raven. Um, and the ravens are normally dark. So I love that there was a white raven. How I wrote angel number 66, but hey. Moth spirit, surrender now. Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. Okay. Wombat, be at home. Fox spirit, think on your feet. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. Swan spirit, time for a deep dive. Beautiful. Elephant spirit, learn from the past. Hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. So, so far you're probably like, eh, no big deal. Wait, the plot thickens. Cat spirit, claim your independence. Bee spirit, sweet results await. Rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. Remember rabbit's foot is luck? I haven't thought about a rabbit's foot in a long time. Rhino spirit, 
overcome any obstacles. Here's my baby again, hummingbird spirit. Be here now. Beautiful. Brown bear spirit, take time out. Bears hibernate. Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. Okay, here we're getting scared. Okay, vultures. You guys know I don't like big ass scary birds. Vulture spirit, okay? Nothing is wasted. They eat everything. Badger, be fearless and be bold. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. Scarab beetle spirit, magic works through you. I think these are the beetles that they had on um the mummy. Ooh. Magic beetles. There's a bug. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. Electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. Guys, when I was going through this deck, I got more excited and more excited. My anxiety, I had to grab some amethyst. And oh, turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. And the other one, it was prosperity. No, protection. Slow and steady wins the race. Otter spirit, you are never done. <laughs> Sandpiper spirit, be playful. Cute. Snake spirit, time to heal. There's that snake. And see, so I had the snake in my house, which overall meant healing, which is a great, which is great. Groundhog spirit, time to let go. You know, if you see the groundhog and uh, dove spirit, be peace. Grasshopper, grasshopper spirit, take a deep leap, take a leap of faith. Love that. Grasshopper, dolphin spirit, this and that are true. This and that are true. Oh, Jesus. Oh, if I seen it, I definitely going to be pulling this card. This card probably going to be so bent up. Turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. Okay, so I love eating turkeys. I do not like turkeys. Turkeys are very aggressive. Them niggas are running. Hell no. And chickens, anything that can run around with his head cut off, I'm good. I'm Gucci. Oh, hell. That just scares me. Plus, I got chased by some chickens and shit. Oh. Canary spirit. Sing your own song. Like when I was really little, mess me up. Whale spirit. Trust the great mastery. Koi fish, there's always enough. See, my dude is a fisherman, so that's why I thought of him. I was like, so I've only done one reading with these cards so far. That was him. Um, beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Um, cow spirit, the miracles are endless. So many animals. Amadillo spirit, set, set healthy boundaries. Lion spirit, be generous of spirit. Oh, Lord, here's another one. Ooh, I, uh, spider spirit, make your dreams come true. You know what's crazy? Because I've had spider dreams. Like, I always have spiders in my dreams. Guys, I don't like spiders. Oh, I don't like them. I don't like the way they move. People, I'm no shot. If you like spiders, hey, everybody has their theme. Nightingale spirit, love is all around you. A nightingale. I love nightingales. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being. Parrot spirit, watch your words. Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. Peacock spirit, let it shine. Chameleon spirit, act as if. Very interesting. Love chameleons. I love that chameleon tent. Like on my cars, I would always have the chameleon tent. Crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. Number 17. Flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between. We're almost done, I promise. <laughs> Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. Stag spirit. Take the lead. And this is the one that is on the front of the deck. Skunk 
spirit, know your truth. Okay. I can't wait to get deeper. I just wonder how they associate the skunk with truth. But wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. And it does. And you're bad. To me, this would be like a death card or something. Because if I get stung, I'm allergic. I'm going to stay away from wasps. Sometimes life stings. Starfish. Open to infinite possibilities. Shout out to all my star seeds. Starfish. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. So they use the word transformation as opposed to change. Or rebirth, I mean. Transformation. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. And then last but not least, the frog spirit. Clear the clutter. So yeah, I thought I was going to be here for 40 minutes, but I definitely wanted to share um, the spirit of the animal oracle deck versus the spirit animal oracle deck. So two, two very, very great decks. Um, definitely different energies. Now, I do love this deck. I love, love, love this deck. Um, I love the artwork. I love the meanings. However, just to be honest, it's, it's a little bit, I want to show y'all in here. So when you get to the actual card, okay, so I showed you the inside. So when you get in, there aren't any power words because remember the power word was already on the card. So you don't get there. You only have the Oracle message and then you have a protection message. So if we pulled this out and it was upside down, there would be a protection message. And that's it. So I do see myself using these a little bit more with readings. They go a little bit quicker just for clear and precise um, answers as opposed to these. These are very more personal. I would do these for personal readings. Um, they have a lot more meat, a lot more words. Um, they're bigger in bulk and... You know, I'd hate to say it, but honestly, if I would have just purchased this one, I do believe I would have been fine. However, the only thing that this deck has that this deck doesn't have is it has the unicorn and the dragon. So I did like that. But, you know, there's pros and cons about each. So these ones I definitely would use for altar calls. Also for like a total spirit totem. Like this would be personal with me and a client. All right. So that's the benefit of these. Um, so I'm glad that I got them. So really it's a win-win situation. However, I was bummed because even with this doing that, I would still probably need to use these for the snake, the spider, the, you know, and just, I hate to say this is probably going to be one that just sits on my shelf for pretty because I'm already excited and feeling these. These have been sitting there. I've read with them here on YouTube one time. They've been sitting there. I don't feel drawn to them every day. These ones already I'm wanting to touch and feel bond with the spiders are in there definitely want to go to them more because of those factors you know like that spider so yeah that's what i wish you know i think they focused more on the artwork and the display of the card and not so much the things that we really want spirit animals for you know kind of those spooky you know weird animals that we want to know about you know these are a lot of the traditional the traditional animals. So this would definitely be for a person who's like traditional, maybe an earth side down to earth. There's a couple of, well, you know, that unicorn, infinite possibilities. So both great cards. Um, you know, overall, I would suggest both. However, if you're doing like a lot of readings daily and you want to be pulling a spirit oracle, I would, I would go with this one. I would definitely go with this one. If you wanted to do this feminine and the masculine spread, you could do it. Um, with this so yeah i do believe i think i just i'm running out of time and i'm gonna have to add this really long i didn't want to get this long i did stay under 30 minutes i said it's gonna be a long video but yeah so overall two great decks two great decks you know but if i would have ordered this one i probably wouldn't have ended up ordering this one maybe for the unicorn but they have unicorn decks right they have dragon decks when i you know this one bad 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 i can't wait i'm gonna be doing readings with this all righty I already know that a nigga out you get into the paper. Yeah, I'm getting to the paper. Bunch of blue Benjamin Franklins with the big faces. And a whole lot of layers. Yeah, I'ma chase them. You can say the hustle in my nature. G certified money maker.